We're here with Emory Head Women's Soccer Coach Sue Patberg as the Eagles get set to start their 2013 season just uh, about a week and a half away now. And uh, Coach, you know, obviously coming back from last season, historical season last year, second fin uh, finished second in the nation, best season in the history of the team. Talk a little bit about the mindset now for the team coming into this year and what you hope to accomplish. Well, I think, you know, it was an amazing season and there were um, so many opportunities to learn and, and to grow as a program and to get better. Um, and it culminated with you know a great run at the end. Coming off of that, I think we, we have high expectations, but we have realistic expectations to get to a national championship game. So many things need to, to come together and fall in line for you, and, and that's really what happened for us last year. And we know that um, you know it's one day at a time right now. It's get better every single day. Now, obviously, over the years, you guys have been known for your defense, especially since you've been here. But last year, the offense really took a step forward. Some of your best numbers, really, since you've been here. Uh, and you're bringing a lot of that offense back. You're adding in some new pieces as well. Talk a little bit about your offense for the upcoming season. Right. Well, I think we just have accumulated, uh, you know, more firepower. Our midfielders are, are um, stepping up and putting some great numbers, you know, on the board for us. Our forwards, Feldy and V, had great seasons last year in terms of scoring goals and um, having assists. And I think we're just uh, becoming more dangerous, figuring out ways to break down defenses and get behind them and just uh, creating better final third opportunities. Defensively, obviously you're led by Lauren Gordetsky, Defensive Player of the Year last year in Division Three, multiple-time All-American, but you really had some other pieces and some other players come along as the season went on last year, and that unit as a whole is coming back pretty strong. It is. You know what I think was really interesting about last year's team? A lot of times you find your four backs and you don't sub them. And they play 90 minutes, they play you know the overtimes. We actually, I think last year, probably subbed our back line more than we ever have in the past. And what that did for us is it gave us, you know, our outside backs get forward like crazy. So we were always able to keep them fresh. Um, we played a lot of different players at center back, so they have that experience. And a lot of our younger players got significant time playing in the back, whereas, you know, we didn't just have those four players we stuck with every minute of, you know, every game all season. Yep. Now, looking forward to this season, and we talk about this every year, it seems like you always schedule difficult teams, and uh, this year it seems like you've taken it to another step forward. Eight of the teams you're going to play this season are ranked in the preseason top 25, and obviously oh, UAA. for that stat. Yeah. I, and, I didn't know that. Well, okay, great. No, I'm just know, kidding. And the UAA, though, too, is as strong as it's ever been, probably. Uh, you know, talk about that. Again, the battles that your team faces pretty much on a game-to-game -game basis. Yeah, we've, we always kind of have the philosophy that if you're going to actually make it all the way to the tournament, you're going to make it all the way to that final game, you have to get a look at a lot of different types of teams. And, you know, going up and playing at Ithaca and Cortland and going back up to Boston and playing um, Wheaton and UMass Boston, we just felt like, you know, there were a lot of good tournament teams out there that were playing. I mean, Lynchburg, we've got Lee University, NAIA back on, all the UAA teams. We just feel like, you know, if you're going to play the best, ultimately, at the end of the day in the NCAA tournament, you need to be prepared. And so we try to play as, you know, great a schedule as we can, as tough a schedule as we can to, to be prepared for that, you know, the ultimate goal. Okay, Coach, well, thanks a lot. Good luck with the rest of your preseason and the upcoming season. Thank you.